Well, we're back at the 17th, and what a scene it is. Galleries surrounding. Many have been here. I was out here at 9 o'clock this morning looking at the whole location, and people were already claiming spots, Danny. <laughs> it's so that they kind of place the to action. be. Sky boxes over there, Gary. It's uh, quite a place to be. And yeah, this is a crescendo for all those people, huh, Gary, since 9 o'clock when Tiger shows up. That's exactly right. They're they are certainly enthusiastic right now, I'll say that. Yeah, we look. We look down from above and uh, Johnny I have seen a number of players putt from the back part of this green and the results have not been good mostly uh, like Tom kite way to the right well the ball wants to break left up on top and yeah. then once it comes down the slope it moves hard to the right and it picks up speed well it seems like when Tiger gets really engaged in something difficult he usually does extra good and he should be pretty engaged here <laughs> well, he certainly needs to be. You can see where he's standing right now, Gary. That is the brow of the ridge. So it is almost a dead flat putt to there. And then for the last 20 feet from where Tiger is right now, down to the hole, it is very fast. And as he said, turns hard to the right. What does this do, Gary? Goes sort of a little bit over that way and then comes right back. Correct. But, but Johnny, it goes so much to the right as it comes down that hill that that's where the players have been fooled. I mean... You've got to be three, four feet out to the left of the hole as it comes over the ridge, and most guys have just not seen that. He almost needs to pretend, Gary, it looks to me like, like the hole is up on the top of the ridge, as you said, four or five, maybe even six feet left of the hole, and try and just barely roll it past there. Almost forget about where Steve Williams is standing down there next to the cup. Like what he's doing there, just swinging the putter, visualizing. Trying to track the line that he wants. Doesn't look like he's aiming left at all. Well, it will break a little left at the start. Johnny, that's better than most. How about him? That is better than most. Better than most. safe to say you could hit that putt 50 times and maybe make it once. That was just a, another Tiger moment, one of the great long putts I've ever seen. Remember back in the 94 U.S. Amateur Championship, kind of where Tiger began this whole magical mm -hmm. quest. Way down in that U.S. Amateur. Six down, in fact. Took the lead for the first time with a 12-foot birdie putt. Uh, just to, on this island green. Yeah, it, in fact, it almost went in the water. He knocked it in from off the green. Now, this will show you just how good Tiger's putt was. Phil Mickelson, known for his putting, and he doesn't have to deal with nearly what Tiger does. Oh, there you go. There you go. Watch this ball roll away from the hole. Gary, uh -huh. to show you just how good it was, Fred Funk a moment ago before this, I think took four putts up here on the 17th green. Let's take one more look at this putt. Surprised how much it went left, Gary. Well, there's a brow on the hill right there, Johnny, that look really throws it left. And amazing. he's the first guy that I've seen that's gotten the ball that far left of the hole. You know, and even if this ball doesn't go in, it's going six or seven feet by. It's just that much slope in the green. But <laughs> That's fun to watch, isn't it? Just creeps in on the right side. And his reaction right about now. How about it? Yeah. <laughs> Still the same fist pump that we saw in 94 on that green, Gary. Well, 
How about the up and in on 16 and then that in there? That's his three, four strokes picked up on the field. Well, and that's an example of how difficult this 17th green is to putt from up above. We've seen a number of players do just that, three putt. So Phil makes a bogey, drops back to two under. Tiger makes an improbable birdie. Now 10 under par, seven under par in his round, and just two off the lead. And Gary, what makes it just as impressive was that he was in the water on that hole yesterday, almost put it in the water again. Still, none of that clutters his mind. He buries an almost impossible putt. He's got back-to-back -back birdies. He's at 10 under, alone in second place. And now he strides over to the most difficult hole here.